Welcome back to the Phoebe Way. If this is your first time, my name is Phoebe and on this channel we talk about life in Germany, how to make your life in Germany easy. We just try to make life in Germany easy, smooth for every expat, okay? Germany and its bureaucracy can be very overwhelming. I am a legal interpreter with my schwerpunkt, <laughs> with my main focus on legal aspects of Germany or the legal setup in Germany and I've been in this business since 2015 so be rest assured that I got your back and I'm going to make sure that you get the most professional help also confidentiality is definitely a priority for us at the Phoebe way so in one of my previous videos, I talked about the insurances that you should have if you are someone living in Germany. We talked about the liability insurance, the half leach Versicherung. Some people talked about, some people even said that you should have the Hausrat Versicherung. It's not necessarily a must, but if you are somebody who has children and if there should be any kind of disaster that would spoil the things in your home, in your household then Hausrat Versicherung is probably a good call. Also if you're somebody who drives you should think of the Kfz Haftlicht Versicherung and then we talk about the compulsory ones which is the health insurance. Health insurance is compulsory and someone asks what is the difference between the private and the statutory health insurance. So private health insurance is private Krankenversicherung, statutory is the Gesetzliche Krankenversicherung. Good. Now, the difference between the private health insurance and the private health insurance and the sedentary health insurance are one, with the sedentary health insurance, it is deducted from your, your wages, okay, from your salary at the end of the month. You pay a percentage, your employer pays a percentage, usually it's 50 50, okay? So even if you do your, even when you do your taxes, you realize that the amounts are quite similar. Good. So this is one thing about the sedentary health insurance, the Gesetzliche Krankenversicherung. Also, that is the basic one. Almost everyone has it. I think about 80%, at least 80% of the population has the sedentary health insurance. Okay. So, and then the diff and the, and the next thing, the next thing that is different from the private health insurance is that with the sedentary health insurance, if one member of one parent of the family is gainfully employed, or is employed and he's paying his contributions monthly, he can cover the family, his spouse who is not working and the children for free. So for example, I am with Technical Krankenversicherung. I would then be working, if my husband isn't working, I would be working, but my insurance would then take on my husband and my two children, and my two children. Or if it's the other way around, the husband is working, the wife is a stay at home mom, then, the husband's health insurance would cover the wife and the children without any additional cost. Just what comes out from the father's um, salary and what, from what his in, employer is paying. Okay? So, usually the Krankenversicherung, Gesetzliche Krankenversicherung is for employees. They usually do that a lot. Good. And with the basic insurance or with the, not basic, but with the statutory insurance, you can actually go to most doctors or any doc well, most I have to say most doctors because not all doctors accept it. So or not all doctors are allowed to be working with the sedentary health insurance. So you, most doctors, when you go, you just show your card and most of the services will be free. You don't have to pay on top. And for people who are having children, this is really good because kids get sick all the time. You don't have to pay out of pocket every time you go, all right? Except, of course, you have to buy some medications. With some medications, you pay the five euro to tell along the additional payment. Or sometimes if it is on a private recept, that is if the prescription is, a, they write on a private prescription with the, on the green prescription paper, then you have to pay the full price. So it depends on what the doctor thinks is in your case, all right? It is from the contribution that you pay to the health insurers, being Technica Krankenkasse, AUKA, BAMA, Unsovaita, there are so many of them. It is from, they would then pay the, the doctors and other service providers, okay? So you usually pay just the two salon, but it is not all the 
services that are covered so for example if you are somebody who has the excessive check happened for six year wrong if you go to the doctors or to the dentist for a full for a full dental cleaning care they would not cover it but that is around 170 uh, no 107 euros 120 euros you do that one time in a year you have to cover that yourself one thing about the statutory health insurance or the gazette krankenversicherung is that you can combine it with the private krankenversicherung okay so your basic thing is the gesetzliche krankenversicherung but then you can have add-ons like supplementary services or supplementary options like you can because for example i just talked about the dental care that is not included or not all dental care services are included you can then have a contract that would cover these particular ones all right and the amount that you pay your contribution is based on your income so it is your income that will determine how much your contribution to the health um, health insurance provider is all right that is what the main difference between the statutory health insurance and the private health insurance with the private health insurance it is not based on how much you earn but your age and your medical condition or how you are at that time that you that as you are applying for it also you can only get into the private health insurance if you cross a certain threshold it is adapted yearly 2024 you have to be earning more than 5775 euros monthly to be able to qualify for the private health insurance people who usually go for the private health insurance are high earners civil servants and self-employed people the one of the differences between the private health insurance and the sedentary health insurance is that with the city with a sorry with a private health insurance you have to pay for each member of the family extra so it is not like the sedentary health insurance that you are all be paying for one person but it covers all of all the family members but each family member costs more so you are paying per head but with most insurance companies they don't allow or they don't accept or they don't charge children as much as they charge they charge their adults so children's contribution um amounts are much less than the adults ones okay and usually as i said with the cd tree you show your card and that usually is you paying for it because your insurance company is going to be paying for the services with the private health insurance most of the time you have to pay out of pocket before the insurance company insurance company would reimburse you that is another thing so you have to have money at hand to be using the private health insurance one thing about the private health insurance is that once you have entered into the private health insurance it is very difficult for you to opt out okay it's either you have stopped earning above that money that i just talked about in that particular year but even then it's it's very difficult for you to get or to opt out of the private health insurance so before you get into the private health insurance please think properly about it like where are your options and your and the factors in your life before you get into the private health insurance i hope this explains the different types of insurances that we have or health insurance that we have in germany if you have any other questions about life in germany do not hesitate i'm here for you we'll talk about it and i'll see you guys on the next one bye